Hello, I'm Tim. I'm the PM at GitLab for the package stage. And today I wanted to do a quick demo of a new feature that's now available on GitLab.com and will be included in the upcoming milestone 12.9, which is scheduled for release on March 22nd, 2020. So this update is to the container registry API. And basically what it does is it adds in new functionality to the bulk delete API uh, to allow you to specify not just which images or tags to delete, but which ones to always keep as well. So let's take a look at the documentation. Here's the API that I'm talking about. Uh, and you can see here that we've added in this new parameter called or attribute called name regex keep. And this will allow you to utilize regex to specify a tag name that you always want to preserve, probably something like stable or master or release, for example. Okay, and, and I see down here that we also have uh, some examples. So we have uh, this option will remove all tags, but always keep tags beginning with stable. Um, let's, I'm gonna, we're gonna utilize this today in our example. And let's take a look at a project that I have open as an example. So let's see, I have this container registry and I currently have two uh, Docker repositories in here. This one, which only has image uh, tags with the name that are beginning with stable. Let's check out the other one, which includes things like beta and uh, latest and next. So I, I would like to get rid of all of these. Now, since we're going to be using the GitLab API, I'll just move myself over, uh, we will be utilized, we will need to set up a personal access token with API scope. So to do that, I navigate to my profile and then to the personal set, user settings. I'm just forever in the way. Okay, so over here now in the, the user settings, I see this option for access tokens. And I'm gonna create a new access token and I will call this name regex delete. And I'm going to expire it tomorrow. Now you have these different options for which you could set the scope to. In this case, we're, we're utilizing the API. So I'm gonna set it to API and I will click create personal access token and you have this view. Uh, this is only up here one time. So if you're going to be uh, persisting this token, you'll wanna save it in your password manager or in vault or something like that. In this case, I'm going to copy it. And then let's head back over to the documentation. So here I see that um, what information do we have to put in to actually delete these tags? Well. We also need to enter in the repository ID. So how do I find this? If I navigate to my project in the container registry, I don't see repository ID in here. So I need to utilize the API to find out this as well. Luckily, uh, we have just the thing. You can list the reg registry repositories by project or by group. So there's this option here. I'm gonna copy this and we'll fill this in together. So here is the API call for finding a specific uh, repository ID for a given image. And I'm just going to update my token. Okay, so there's my token. And then another thing that we have here is you have to enter in your project ID. The project ID can be found by navigating to your project. the main page and you see here under the name there's the project ID here so that needs to be copied in as well. Okay so now we have this curl that is going to utilize this token which expires tomorrow and my project ID to find out um, the find the repository ID. So let's bring up the command line and I'm just going to paste that in. Great, okay, so I see here that there are two uh, repositories for this particular project. One has the ID 974653, 
The other one has the ID 974655. So I'm going to use this 974655 as my repository ID in the, the bulk delete call. So here it is. Here's my repository ID. I worked ahead a little bit. We also need to include the project ID in here, which I showed you a minute ago how to find. And then we're going to put in the personal access token here as well. So let's just copy this. Oops. And I should say there was one other change that I made here from the example in the documentation, which was that I changed uh, this, the, the route from gitlab.example.com to gitlab.com, since we're actually using gitlab.com. And again, this will say, uh, keep everything that begins with the name stable. So we'll copy that, and then we'll go back to the command line. And we have a 202 response, which means it was successful. So let's navigate to the project itself. OK, and then we're going to go to the container registry. And here's that repository that we were in before. And now we see only items with stable left. So I just utilized the bulk delete API, which is down here now, um, to delete all images except for those that started with stable. Now, you don't have to use the command line for this. You can use um, GitLab CI tool, and in which case, you don't have to worry about personal access tokens. You can hide them as an environment variable. But maybe that'll be a good uh, next step demo. Today, I just wanted to show that this functionality is working. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's quite effective. So if you have any questions about the issue, please feel free to reach out to me at trizzy at gitlab.com or in the issues. And uh, thank you.